50 million copies. And to the lady who made it all possible, the greatest sleuth in the world, Mrs. Melville, whom we brought to life, and now we're about to bury. Come on, Ken. You're making me feel guilty. All I want to do is write on my own. You're right, I am being selfish. Okay, my boy, my blessings on your solo flight. Thanks. I appreciate it. After all, friendship is more important than partnership, right? Here's to our friendship. Right. And now, sir, I'm going to kidnap you. What? The aforementioned cabin, which has been finished for over six months now. You haven't seen it. You're going to be my first male guest. Oh, I can't, Ken. Not now. Oh, why can't you? It's all the way down to San Diego. Oh, it's a couple of hours' drive. I'll have you home before midnight. Yeah, yeah well, I promised Joanne I'd take her to dinner and a show. Oh, that's easy. You pick up that phone, you say, honey, I'm going to be working late at the office tonight. Come on. As soon as we get down there, we'll uncork another bottle and we'll go fishing. Well, I... God, you know your trouble, old buddy, is... I mean, you're afraid to unwind even for a day. Oh, no, I'm not. Well, then, yeah. prove it. Come on, if you want some justification, you're doing it as a favor for me. At least give me a chance to bury the hatchet with some style, huh? You just don't drop your partner and then turn down his invitation all in one week, now, do you? Actually, the timing isn't bad. I was just finishing the final chapter. Ah, Mrs. Melville's last case. You know we ought to send that broad some flowers. Listen, I made a list of things up that I'd like to take from the office. You want to take a look at it? I don't get it. It's a list of names. Oh, I'm losing my mind. It's the wrong one. I must have left the other one at the house. Uh, oh, I am losing my mind. What's the matter? I left my lighter in the office. Do you need it? That's my security blanket. I'll be a minute. Talk you into this trip. Ah, oh, Jim, smell that air. How far is the cabin? Ah, oh, it's not far, about an hour. We have to skirt San Diego. Be a minute, I just have to get some supplies. Do you want to hand me that book in that glove compartment? Yeah, it's one of ours. <laughs> yeah. The boss lady is a big fan of ours. I've been promising this for months. Huh? The price of fame. Hey, you want me to come with you? No, no. I'll only be a minute. Working overtime. 
I have a surprise for you. For moi? For moi. Prescription murder. A Mrs. Melville thriller by James Ferris and Ken Franklin. <laughs> oh, uh, take a look at the first page. You signed it? You dear man. Well, Mr. Franklin. I'd rather have the storyteller than the story. Well, I'll tell you what, if you play your cards right and give me my grocery list, someday you may have both. Empty promises. Miss Lasanka. What do you need? Just a few things for overnight, thanks. Who is it this week, the blonde or the redhead? Oh, Miss Lasanka. I'm all alone this weekend. Except for uh, some contemplation, some fishing, and a refreshment of my spirit. Could you break this for me? I need some change for the phone. Thanks very much. That'll do fine. Thank you. Did you ever get a feeling of deja vu? What? Like you've uh, done something before, but you know you haven't. Why? What do you mean? I'm getting it right now. It's strange. You know I've never been here before. Maybe in a previous incarnation, huh? The house that Mrs. Melville built. <laughs> Will you see the inside? No wonder. <laughs> no wonder what? What woman could resist this setting? Not very many, I promise you that. How about a drink, Jim? More alcohol, no thanks. You'll corrupt me. Oh. <laughs> You're thinking about Joanna, aren't you? <laughs> yeah. You know, I'm just taken off like that. Uh... She still expects me for dinner. No, we can fix that. We'll put plan A into effect. Pick up the phone and call her. <laughs> what am I going to tell her? <sighs> the man is too square for words. Now, look, you simply say that you're working at the office. You're calling from the office. She knows you have a deadline to meet at the book. You're working late. Oh, how many times have you had to do that? A couple of hundred, I guess. Exactly. That's why she'll believe you. You know, I, I just hate lying to her, you know. I'm not lying to her. You're saving her a little anguish. Now, will you pick up the phone and call her so we can start enjoying ourselves? Okay. Oh, operator, I'd like to make a... Hold like... it. <laughs> it's a cinch. You have never cheated on Joanna before. If you want your wife to believe you're calling from the office, you don't have the operator place the call. You dial it direct. The area code is 213. Hi, honey. How are you? Uh, well, that's what I'm calling about it. Um, I'm at the office, and I'm pretty well into this last chapter. I'd like to work straight through. Yeah, I know. I, I know. This will be the last time that I can... Jimmy? Jimmy! Just one more thing. 